Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you how to set up a PS3 emulator, which is called RPCS3, which you can see right here, using EMU Deck. So it's a emulation software and it allows you to emulate a bunch of consoles, but today I'm going to focus on RPCS3 specifically. There's a few little things that you need to know about that. So first of all, I want to say this video does not condone piracy. It is for educational purposes. I legally own a PS3 legally on the game that I'll be trying, I recommend that as well. And okay, so the first thing you want to do is switch over to desktop mode. To do that, press the Steam button, go to power, and just press switch to desktop. So if you never use desktop mode in on Steam Deck, you use the right trackpad, it can take like a few seconds for it to kick in sometimes, but use the right trackpad to move the mouse, you can use your, you know, your finger as well. Just use your thumb, my thumb. But you can use your finger as well. The right trackpad. You can click it in, and that will act as a left click. You can also use the bumper, so the right trigger. You know, R2 equivalent on like a PlayStation controller, RT on Xbox for left click, and you can use the left trigger for right click. So doing stuff like so and those are very important other than that we are good to go so the first thing you want to do is launch up firefox and if you don't appear there you can just get it from the applications here so launch up firefox there's two things that you want to download the first being emu deck and to get the keyboard up you just press the steam button and x There we go. So if we just type in EMU deck, I'll provide a link in the description, but Googling it is probably the fastest way. It's just emudeck.com. Go to download, click download installer. And this is very important. You need to copy it to the home, or I mean, to the desktop, which you know will do. And click OK. The last thing that you need is the ps3 firmware so again we can just go on to here click steam button x type in ps3 firmware and go to this link right here and 4.89 is the latest version as of now if like a new version comes out highly unlikely but if it does just download that version so we scroll down, click download, like so. So if you get phone not downloaded, potential security risk, literally, I'm just going to use the trackpad now, just go to the arrow, click allow download, and it's downloading in up that file. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel it. And yeah, that's it. If it doesn't download, just right click it and go to save link as and you know to save it so i find sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't if it doesn't that's the little tip for you right there now to close that go to your you know file manager go to downloads and you'll have emu desk right here you right click it using the left bumper go to copy and on your desktop you just paste it in so right click paste one file I've already got it downloaded so I'm not going to do that and now you just open up EMU deck so if I just open it up here we go so it's checking for updates I've already got it installed but if you don't that's fine and I recommend just clicking custom update go to continue choose SD card if you want to install it on an SD card or internal storage or custom directory Either recommend SD or internal and highly recommend SD card. And if you have an SD card and you, if you formatted it on another device, you would need to plug it into your Steam Deck, go to the settings and format it on the Steam Deck. If you want to know how to do that, I'll provide a link in the description to another tutorial that I've created. Feel free to check that out. And now just, you know, click continue, choose your device for us. Obviously it's Steam Deck, click continue and from here just choose all the emulators you want as this is a ps3 emulator video you just select well you know 
our PCS3. Like so. Okay, so if you have already set this up and maybe you didn't set up our PCS3 and you come here, if you deselect all the others and you just select our PCS3, don't worry, it's not going to uninstall them. It will just install or update the ones that you know you know that you choose so so we're doing rpcs3 just for this video click continue again just keep leave it as rps3 because that's the only one we want to update click that choose the theme for emulation station i'm going to be doing epic noir but again for playstation 3 you'll be a lot of time just using the ps3 side of things i mean the emulator side of things keep no selected for homebrew games so it's just completing the installation now it's just a waiting game just wait patiently for it to complete Okay, so installation is complete. It might take a little longer for you, but if it does, because I've already done it before, just be patient. And now, there's a couple of things that we need to do. So first of all, let's add our game. Let me show you where to do that. So you go to where your project or your, where you installed EMU deck. For me, it was on an external SD card. Go to emulation. And in here, to install games, you go to ROMs. PS3 and you just copy and paste the folders into here make sure each folder has you know the files like so I need to get a new version of resistance this particular one is not getting detected or working but that's fine for us let you know when I do scan it this one won't pick up but Killzone 2 does get picked up and if you have a package file I'll show you how to you know install that as well and that's it so there is a BIOS folder but for PS3 side of things doesn't concern us at all. Obviously, you will need to, you know, get hold of a game. You can rip it yourself. You can download it off the internet. There's so many websites you can literally just Google PS3 game download, and you will find it. Obviously, I cannot share that stuff. But if you have any questions about anything, feel free to post on our Discord group. Next, you want to launch the Steam ROM Manager, and that's fine. Just click yes. Okay, so from here, what you want to do, what you'll probably have is if you've installed a bunch of emulators, you'll have all of these selected. Just click parser so it's off. Just enable emulation station DE and emulators. You do not want to mess with the PS3 or anything like that. The reason being is. If you start enabling each individual console or just PS3, if you, let's say, have 50 PS3 games on here, you're probably need a pretty big SD card or small game. But if you do, what will happen is they'll appear in your regular Steam library. We don't want that. We want access to them, quick access or easy access, but we don't want them just appearing and clogging up our library. That's why we don't do that. Click save. Find sometimes they give me an error. Fine. I'll still find it saves anyway. Go to preview. Click generate app list and here we go so if you only get like these two icons that's fine i mean or if you've installed a bunch the rest do appear if you maximize i don't know why that is the case but some ui bug and you can change the icon for this by just clicking the arrows you can you know download the icon right here and you can just you know click this icon in the bottom left and you can select a custom image if you want to so there you go and that, I mean, for the most part, that's it. We can click save app list, and we're almost ready to start playing games. The next thing that you want to do is install that update firmware file that you downloaded. 
to do that unfortunately the installation of a firmware on the ps3 emulator even with emu dick you still have to manually do it you can't emu dick doesn't pick everything up for ps3 as of now i'm hopeful it will in the future go to start menu go to games find or you can search for it if you just want to find rpcs3 it just manually i mean just automatically installs it via emu dick open this up you go to file you go to install firmware go to wherever you downloaded it select it open and uh, um, yours will not show that but i've already got it installed so it showed it for me and there we go it's now installed how do you add games to it by default you won't have any games appearing you just go to file add games and you want to find wherever your games are again for me i'll put them in the emulation directory if they're not there that's fine you just find where they are so for me it's emulation then roms and then ps3 select the ps3 folder not anything inside of it click ok and all your games will appear so for me killzone 2 that's the only valid one i've got in there and now it's appeared we're all good to go you don't need to mess with pads it automatically configures the pads feel free to do that as an extra task if you want to if you want to remap the controls but you don't need to and from here one last thing go to gpu and select right color buffers and click save so the right color buffers is required for demon souls it fixes a black screen problem that there is with that so i know a lot of people want to play demon souls if you're one of them which you probably are then you know do that little fix now we're ready to play the game and we can just get out of this we can go back to our steam menu to do that go to return to gaming mode what i will say is because because of the nature of emulators crashes happen so if you get crashes just be patient doesn't necessarily mean there's anything wrong with your system obviously feel free to comment because we can check out in case there is but it might just be emulator in not that stable yet or the game not stable or the combination with the console you know just bear that in mind because it's not like a regular game and here we go so if yours doesn't appear there it's fine click the steam button go to library okay so now you'll have this emulation folder in, in collections collections will also appear which probably wasn't there before for you and you go to rpcs3 there we go you may only have the one that's fine i had already you know installed everything else so that's why i've got all the other stuff click a and before we do this click this controller icon very important scroll down for the right you, uh, so you need, need to use your finger for this you can't use right trackpad throughout this go to right trackpad behavior and select as mouse that's very important so it allows us to navigate the rpcs3 system menu instead of using the touchscreen which is not intuitive at all and you need to have some sort of system for activating left mouse click outside of touching the screen i just map it to the back button so i've done left mouse click that's the main one if you want to do right mouse click you can do l4 so let's do left mouse click you click the gear icon next to it and so you just click on the button click mouse left mouse click and let me show you with l4 you go to mouse and right mouse click there we go and now we can press b to go back go to play in a few seconds the emulator will load from here i can use the right trackpad to move the mouse and i can use the back bumpers Ooh, it's a bit awkward uh, there we go so I'll press the left one to right click and if i press the right one twice fast it activates a double click and that should launch the game up now so this part of it will take 
a little while for you, especially for each game the first time you do it. Because I've already done it, probably won't take too long. Almost done. I won't really play much of Killzone 2 because Killzone 2 isn't the best working game. I need to get some other games, but I wanted to show you how to set the emulator up. Really excited for it, so I thought I'd show you with whatever I had. But there you go, the game is now booting. Can't wait for this game to you know, work smoothly on a system like this. Might have to get like an AR Neo 2 or something, but uh, whatever, I can't wait. And here we go. So as you can see, we are in the menu. So yeah, it's not the best performance right now, there are glitches, and that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the Discord group, link in the description, or post in the comments in the description. I will also post a link to the compatibility list for RPCS3. Very important to check the compatibility of your game, because it's possible it might not work, or might not work the best. And another little tip, because this is Steam Deck and not like a computer where you have, you know, much more powerful hardware, it still works pretty well on Steam Deck, but just just go to YouTube, type in Steam Deck RPCS3 and then the name of your game, like Killzone 2, Uncharted, The Last of Us, whatever it is, and see how people are, you know, playing it. One, you might actually get some tips on how to make it perform better, and two, you might see it and it's running at 10 frames per second. You might think it's not even worth me getting hold of that game somehow, so you just don't bother. Then you find a game that does work great, great, you know, you go ahead and download that. So yeah, that's my recommendation. Have a look at videos on YouTube. If you, yeah, just post in the comments if you have any questions. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.